Hey folks and welcome to Carstars' 10 Wild Facts about BA's 83 GMC Vandura in the 1983 TV series The A-Team. Fact number one. As per stunt coordinator Craig Baxley, there were eight different customized 1983 G-Series GMC Vandura vans used to portray the A-Team van throughout the five-year run of the show. Two vans were the fully detailed primary hero versions used for casual driving scenes and close-ups, with the rest of them being mostly used for various stunt driving scenes. Fact number two. There were also a number of other additional mock-up older vans only used for scenes portraying the A-Team van being destroyed or performing extreme stunts, such as this gutted older Ford Econoline van used for this submersion scene only. Some were older model GMC vans sacrificed for the bigger jump stunts, which you can see here for instance, and are easily spotted by the round headlights. Fact number three. The primary A-Team vans were powered by 350 V8 engines outputting 165 horsepower with the TH350 3-speed automatic transmission option. The engines were mostly stock with only mild performance modifications such as aftermarket carburetors and custom exhaust systems. Fact number four. The most notable exterior customizations that make the A-Team van their own is the custom two-tone black and gunmetal gray paint job with bright red striping, custom red and black detailed American racing turbine wheels, a custom rear spoiler, custom fiberglass side mirrors, full front brush bar, multiple add-on fog lights, and a sun visor. Some notable interior customizations include white Naga hide bucket seats, white shag carpeting, coin vinyled walls, a custom weapon case in the rear, and of course some tracking equipment with assorted communication devices. Fact number five. One odd inconsistency that many viewers notice throughout the series is the constant change in the appearance of the GMC emblems on the grill and back doors of the A-Team vans. Sometimes even over the course of a single episode you'll see up to three different variations of the emblems. A prime example of this is in the fourth season episode entitled Body Slam. The grill GMC emblem starts off as completely absent and then suddenly the emblem is present in the original red color and then later changes again to an all black color emblem. Apparently, this is one detail that they just didn't think to match across all the different vans used. Despite GM's request that they remove or hide the GMC badging on vehicles in the show, which also extended to other GMC vehicles that you'll commonly see emblems removed from as well. Fact number six. Another and rather more problematic variation between the different vans used was that while the two hero vans had the sunroof option, the stunt vans did not. So, sometimes you'd see situations like in the third season episode entitled The Bells of St. Mary's, where Face jumps onto the roof of a non-sunroof stunt van, and then moments later is shown jumping into the hero van through the sunroof. Fact number seven. Due to the poor power to weight ratio of the vans, dry pavement burnouts had to be assisted. They would typically spray down a bleach solution in front of a rear tire to help it lose traction enough to spin and create smoke which is why you usually see wet spots in front of the tire on pavement burnout close-up scenes. Fact number eight. There have been a number of public and decently done fan-created replica A-Team vans show up over the years, most with at least a few discrepancies from the actual vans used. The replica vans that have become most well-known are ones that were created by groups making their recreation available to rent out for various purposes, such as this fine example. There used to be several organizations that created replicas for rent, However, at this point, it is down to just a few. The only active one that I found currently is a group called A-Team Van Just For Hire, which you can check out over at www.ateamvanjustforhire.uk if you're in need of such a service. Fact number nine. One of Universal Studios' promotional A-Team Vans sold at a worldwide auctioneer's auction in 2021 for $84,000. Fact number 10. If you want to see one of the very few left actual A-Team vans used in the show in person, one such example resides in the Orlando Auto Museum in Orlando, Florida. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.